But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. And? Well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Could we really be missing something so important? There's no possible explanation. Maybe it's... that killed Ogre. If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. So you're dead set on blaming me, huh? Sakura's true cause of death. What was it? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill, what was it? There's no other cause that killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than... No, that's wrong! Monokuma Fowl says she vomited blood. According to the Monokuma File, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean... Maybe when she got hit with the bottle, she cut the inside of her mouth. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You mean inject in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, poison. Sakura was poisoned. Poison? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knees! She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can... explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! But you're the only one talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? And I could have found it all along! You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections, A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements, in B, reagents, and in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? The bottle of poison Biakia just showed us. I'm sure I know where he got it. He would have gotten that from section A, wouldn't he have? I got it! The poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? Huh? You just said that section A was for supplements or whatever. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. W what do you mean? I mean... this. I couldn't believe my eyes. Byakuya put the bottle of poison to his lips and... <gasps> We were so shocked at what we were seeing, all we could do is stand there and watch. But as if it were the most natural thing in the world, Byakuya was as calm as ever. Ugh, that tastes awful. Oh no! Master's in real trouble! You have to drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! 
Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Oh, sure. Do whatever you like. Yoko took the bottle from Byakuya and scraped out a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched the fin her finger to her tongue. This is... it's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? While poison was actually filled with protein powder, which would mean that conversely, the poison must have been in... Could it be? Had it have been in the protein drink? Now we're getting to the point where these letters start to move around a lot. Okay, come on. We need the letter P. R. O. T. E. I. N. D. Where? R. I. N. K. Protein drink. Now I understand. The poison must have been poured into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Something at the scene? That would have been a protein drink. I got it! Now we're back up to You're full health. You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. Back up to full health after my stupidity. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know, I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. The evidence that shows who switched them has to be those footprints. I got it! In turn reveals... The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. That in turn reveals who uh, made those footprints. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. The footprints. They're mine. Uh, Hina? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then... Ogre's killer was... Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. 
the footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... Sneakers, huh? The only people wearing sneakers here are... Myself and Hina. I got it! Makoto and Hina. Me and Hina Myself are the Hina. only ones. Oh, so Yakuza. That explains why you... These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? No. Okay. Then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I... I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then... she downed it. All at once. And... and then... Hold it! I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism. But there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Yeah, it still does it still does not account for the locked room. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well, th that doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not. Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean... Why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too... obvious. Too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That... that was... I was just... nervous. So... I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah. That's just how it was. What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. H how come? That doesn't matter. Kina, please. I'd like to know too. F fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. 
Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, right away I went to section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Okay then, go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. That story you just told. It's got one fatal hole in it. First you went to section C to get the poison. Then moved to section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Y yeah. But if that's true... Isn't that a little strange? Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy! It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? How long? Until we figure it out. Until I uncover the full truth of this case. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. And that's where I switched the powders. Once I was done switching them, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in section A. Then I took the bottle with the poison in it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? I'm sure there's something strange here. What Hina just told us, it definitely contradicts something I already know. First I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison and he spilled some of the powder at once. Okay, I moved from section C. No, that's wrong! I just, there should have been footprints going from section C to A then, but there wasn't. You said you went to get the poison from section C, and that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah, what about it? And after that, you said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from Section C to Section A. That contradicts what you just said. What? Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? After saying she was nervous, I highly doubt that. If that were the case, she would have left no footprints in the first place. No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. Uh, what the? Pina, what's the meaning of this? Uh, um, well... You lied to us, plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Well, you see... What the... What the hell? What's going on here? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I... did? It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. 
I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Just say it already! What is it you think you found? I found this. Huh? A piece of glass? It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle. And the hidden clue was exposed, thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. But, but, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then. Makoto, why don't you explain it? Huh? Me? Fine. I if you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. The shard of light blue glass Kyoko found in the bottle of poison. That was from the rec room window, wasn't it? I got it! It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. You're right, it must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke the rec room window? Wando? What? According to what Hina told us... It should have been in section A. I got it! The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right Hina? And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, hold on. You're moving too fast. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with a poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no. Not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Oh, come on! How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? <laughs>